All right, guys, so you have been asking for so many tutorial videos with the wigs. So basically all day today, all I'm gonna do is do wig videos for you guys. So um, I have my hair super messy and it's just in a scrunchie. So I'm about to put on the Layton wig and I'm gonna show you guys how to cut the lace. So this is the inside of the base of the lace front, all right? And you can see how natural this is. So this style um, with the lace, we have two different um, ones. This is the Layton, and then we have the Tiffany, which is an ashier blonde, but it's still a balayage. All right, so let's get started. Also, before I get started, just because I put my hair up one way underneath the wig does not mean that that's how you have to do it. This is just the way that I prefer to do it. Um, so obviously whenever, you know, women that are completely bald have, you know, are going through cancer treatments or they have alopecia or there's many reasons why people don't have any hair. Um, they obviously don't have to deal with putting their hair up or anything and they can wear like a wig gripper, a silicone wig gripper underneath their wigs and they are able to wear them. So because I do have hair, I have to put this up to be able to put the wig on. So what I typically do is part my hair just down the middle and then just do two piggy tail braids. So that's what I'm gonna do today. And then I kind of crisscross it in the back, which I will show you here in a second. Okay, also your braids do not have to look perfect because no one's gonna see them. They're literally just gonna be tucked underneath the wig. So. If you are not the best braider in the world, it is fine. I'm not the best braider when I have to do my own hair either. And I just do something like really quick just so I can get it up. You do wanna do um, a tighter braid just because it makes it sit flatter on your head. And while I'm doing this, um, also wanted to tell you guys, don't forget that, um, don't forget about our Black Friday sale. And if you purchase any um, hair extension, wig, or hair topper, you are gonna receive a $100 Amazon gift card. So all you have to do is use the code Amazon or you can inbox us and we can send you an invoice and put it on there for you. All right, so we have one braid done. fine and you can't even see anything I just like mine to lay super super flat because no matter where I go people know that this is what I do so they're always looking like most people don't ever know if someone's wearing anything because no one talks about it but because I'm so out there and show that I all the time wear wigs and hair pieces and stuff whenever I walk into a room people are like is she wearing one what is that one so I always like mine to like lay super flat. Okay, so just like I said, it's not perfect, okay? <laughs> okay, so what I'm doing is I'm crisscrossing these two. So I'm gonna put bobby pins in this to make sure that it lays flat and then it's very secure. And the amount of bobby pins that have, you have to use really just depends on how heavy your own hair is and all that kind of stuff. So see, there's one. And now I'm gonna crisscross this other one this way and put it up. And again, this is just, this is just how I do it. It doesn't mean that you have to do it this way. There's like a million ways that you can put your hair up um, to wear a wig. Some people wear a cap. I hate wearing a cap. I don't feel like it, I just don't feel like it does as well for me. And I don't like the feeling of it either. So it's just me, all personal preference. Let's just for a second acknowledge how cute these are. <laughs> okay, moving on. Okay, so here's the Layton wig. Let me show it to you again. So I lace basically from ear to ear and then it does have the security clips also. You can see how natural this looks like up against my finger behind it. It looks literally like a real scalp. 
So, I take it like this, and I always put the lace all the way down here first, and then I hold it, and I grab the back of the cap and put it underneath, tuck it underneath my other hair that's down here, which is another reason that I liked the braid to be down here, because it almost creates just like about this much where it can kind of sit underneath it. So that's one of the reasons that I really like to do the braid because I feel like it makes my wig feel so much more secure. Um, and then once I get it adjusted where I want it to be, then I make sure to open each clip and turn it underneath. Here we go, all right. Oh, also, I've adjusted these to be for my head size, okay? Um, you can also start out with like the loosest ones and then if you ever feel like that it stretched a little, which I've never had a problem with that before, you could go in one more notch. So, kind of like a bra, you know? Let me start the story over again so it'll be able to fit me. Okay, pull this lace, because obviously once the lace is cut, you won't have to deal with doing that. Okay, now I just got to make sure on the sides that all my hair is tucked up underneath the wig. Okay. A little bit poking out right here. See, I just take it and push it back up there. And if you have any of your own hairs that you feel like are coming out, you can just push them back like that. Sorry, it cuts off like every four slides, like when I do the hands free. Okay, so then you're gonna open up the clip on each side. So, um, especially if you're doing it for the first time, you probably wanna do one clip at a time. So I unclipped this side. You can see, look at the transition from this to my own hair. It's like so natural, especially once I cut the lace. So I'm gonna take this, Turn it, you can see the clip right there. Take it, turn it underneath to get a little bit of hair in it. And then press it down. You can probably hear the clip. See? Okay, so there's one. And then we're gonna do this side. Again, the transition is like so natural between my hair and that. So, undo this clip. I'm gonna take it and pull it to right here. Turn it underneath, and then again, clip it. Okay. Okay, so you can already see it looks amazing, and I haven't even like curled it today or styled it or anything like that, and I still need to cut the lace off. So what we're gonna do right now is cut the lace. So I'm just gonna take a little clip like this to pull this hair back so it's um, not in the way of me trying to cut the lace. There we go. All right. You need a pair of shears. Um, if you're doing this at home, obviously you're probably not gonna have hairdresser shears. So all you have to do is go get some like really small, almost like sewing shears or like nose hair clippers. <laughs> Um, obviously don't use the same ones that you use for grooming purposes, but they also have them at Target, Walgreens, you should be able to get them anywhere. So really the thing with the lace is some people like to cut it to where you don't see any lace and some people like to have just a little bit of lace on their forehead. Some people like to use like medical tape or medical glue to actually like adhese it onto their head and everything too. So it, really all of it comes down to personal preference. Every single person likes something different and you might wanna try a few things before you figure out what you really like. I personally never use the medical glue or the medical tape or anything like that. I'm just a like out the door type of person because my life is so busy. So I just feel like I don't have time to do that. Um, some people that try that really love it, but again, personal preference. So you can decide what's best for you. All right. Here we go. Tuck my hair behind my ears. Okay. 
Because I'm right-handed, I'm gonna start on this side, okay? So I don't really want a whole lot of lace. I'm gonna do it where a little bit of lace is left, but like not a whole lot. I kinda have to get really close up in the camera too for this, okay? So, just do what we can here. You're literally just cutting the lace, like just like you would cut anything, okay? I think some people really freak out with this, but it's really not like an art to it, it's just, you know, and I might take it off and like make it a little bit more perfect, but I mean, to be honest, it's very easy to do. Like I might take a little bit more of that off once I, you know, take the wig off, but I don't want to do that and risk getting my own hair or anything like that. The reason a lot of people like a lace front too is because everybody's hairline is different. I mean, it really is. So. This is a great option for people that have like a different type of hairline. You can see I took more off on this side, which I actually like better. So I'm gonna go back in and take a little bit more off. Okay, so I'm gonna take this down. I have one hair that's right there, there we go. Take this down. And now I'm gonna show you guys how I create these types of curls. This is from like the other day. So it's been days since this has been curled or anything like that. Um, I'm gonna show you how to achieve this exact same like style and everything. And you can see like I can tuck this like behind my ear and everything. I'm just gonna cut a little bit more of this lace once I take it off, but I'm not gonna take it off right now. So that's really, really easy. Or like I said, you would leave this if you wanna do any medical tape or glue or anything like that. But I mean, it still looks great when you tuck it behind your ears, everything. So this is like my favorite wig, I love it. That's why I named after my name. <laughs> All right, let's start curling. I just want you to see how natural this is right here. It's insane. Like you cannot tell that it's not my hair. Crazy. All right, so. I have brushed through the wig <laughs> and now we are going to curl this wig. Um, so it also looks, I mean, it really looks pretty the way that it is, honestly, but I'm going to show you, I'm just going to kind of doctor it up. I'm not going to curl it all over again, actually, because it looks so good, but I'm going to show you how to achieve this curl. So I have my curling iron which I'm obsessed with this curling iron. So I'll have to do a swipe up for this in just a few minutes for you guys. But love this curling iron. Um, I have it on about um, three set, 350 to 370. It doesn't really need to be all the way up on 450 whenever it's the wig because the wig just grabs the curl because it has that body wave in it. Like with my own hair, I have to cut it all the way up because my own hair is sticking. Okay, here we go. So I like to use a comb whenever I'm gonna curl and also my hairspray. And I like to do really small sections. I like everything to go away from my face. I don't like it to come towards my face and that's kind of how you get like that look of where it's kind of like all going back and everything. A lot of people make that mistake and they do it like towards their face. Don't do that. All right. Take one about this size. You want to over direct it forward, okay? Turn, start at the top, mm -hmm. turn it back. <laughs> My chair, the leather chair always gets stuff up against the table. And just keep working it down like that. Little hairspray, not a lot. Hold it. So Instagram cut me off, but basically you're gonna wind it down and then once you get to the end you're going to pull it straight and that's how you get that little straight edge at the bottom which is what everybody's doing i'm just going to go around and kind of curl the top a little bit is all it needs so i'm going to do my next piece because you don't have to curl these every time you wear them i mean because you're not sleeping on it or anything it's just going to sit on the head when you're not using it so it should stay 
styled for a while before you have to like restyle it unless you brush through it but see even when i brush through it i feel like it still looks really pretty i'm gonna do it pull straight to that and that's really all you have to do so whenever i touch mine up i just usually go around the top and kind of touch it up it's really easy you just gotta get used to doing it straight at the ends most likely because I feel like that's where a lot of people have trouble just kind of pulling their hand down to make it straight at the ends. And the reason you want to comb every single piece beforehand is because if you get a piece of hair that's not like perfectly combed and smooth, then it's just going to crinkle up and kind of like, almost like if you iron a shirt over a wrinkle, but you have like it folded, it's just going to make the wrinkle worse. Um, hair is just like that too so you want to make sure it's like smoothed out whenever you're using the curl iron on it. I'm going to start on this side and I'm doing like different you know different sizes of hair that I'm picking up just so it I don't like it all to be exactly the same I like it to look messy. All right so I'm almost done but whenever I'm done curling the last piece, what I'm going to do is let this sit here for about five minutes and let it cool. And that actually will help the style to stay in a lot longer if it cools that way. And then one right here in the front. Like I said, we're going to pull it forward and then go back. And that just gives it even more volume. That's the reason I did that. And that's all I had to do, guys. And then if you want to add a little extra shine, you can use our Argon Oil or this Glimmer Shine, which is great. And that is it.